Good evening everyone, my name is Dominus Orbis and today I'll be doing Packet Tracer 7.5.1.2. Pretty much we'll be configuring Frame Relay, point-to-point -point protocol with CHAP authentication, NAT overloading with PAP, and GRE tunnels. Some key terms here. We got the LMI, which is the local management interface. It's pretty much a signaling, signaling standard used between the routers. In this lab, we're going to be using the ANSI standard. And then we got a layer 2 DELSI, which is a data link connection identifier. Pretty much it's an equivalent to a MAC address on layer 2 for frame relay. So here's the topology. These three routers down here, R1, R2, R3, it's my frame relay. And from headquarter internet is going to be point to point. Let's get started. Instructions say configure frame relay encapsulation. That's going to be on interface on R1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Configure map to each of the other routers using broadcast. Broadcast is what allows OSPF, EIGRP, RIT, routing protocol, updates, and traffic to pass through frame relay because remember um, in a frame relay and also in routers in general broadcasts are not propagated and then change the signaling type to ANSI in the LMI we'll just start with that grab my console hook it up to PC1 Sorry about the small font, really nothing I can do about that. Let's go ahead and look at serial 000. Encapsulation is point to point, we need to be frame relay. Let's fix that first. Okay. Now let's make our map, or our maps, I should say. I'm going to do IP, enter in the IP, the physical IP of the remote router, to headquarter this one. the Del C right here. Then don't forget the broadcast so that dual or EIGRP routing algorithm can form adjacency and we should see that right now. Ah, we need to do the tunnel. That's right. Let's see if there's already a map to router 2. Nope, we need to do that as well. Router 2 IP, this one. Del C 302, right here. Keyword broadcast. Once we build these tunnels, then we'll get a neighbor adjacency. Tunnel 0, first step, IP address. I'm going to use the addressing table up here. Slash 30, and then tunnel source it says here use the port, it's a serial interface. Destination it says use the address, it's a physical address of the other side of the link. There we go.
Okay, a couple things here. I did a show IP address IP neighbors. No neighbors came up because I forgot a couple things. Didn't put an IP address on my tunnel one, and forgot to change the signaling protocol, the standard that is, to ANSI. Once we do that, we'll get our neighbor adjacencies. This is what tunnel one. There we go. Okay, R1 is done. Now we have to telnet into headquarter. So I don't know why I closed that terminal. Admin username, admin pass, password. What are we going to do here? Point to point protocol, the link on the internet, using chat with authentication, and ISP is a host name, Cisco is a password. We got to do point to point first. There we go. Now our tunnels. Same thing. Source is the port. Destination is the IP. Don't forget the broadcast. Nope, not here. Happened too fast. There we go. Actually, I got them backwards.
All right, last step. Now we need to do NAT interface inside is going to be here. IP NAT inside. This one's going to be IP NAT outside, the one facing the internet. Write us an access list. Okay, permit. What does it say? To share the public IP address on the class 8. Slash A. Overload here should be done. Verify end to end connectivity to ping the web server from the end devices. And that's exactly what we shall do. Successful. successful. Once again, my name is Dominus Orbis, and I hope this video has been informative, and I want to thank you for viewing.